Here I am at Cleveley EV because we have brought Rusty down to uh, get a bit more spruced up. And this video is gonna be a tour about Cleveley EV and working on Rusty. Let's get into it. So here she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? So I've just arrived at Cleveley EV. I've booked in my vehicle, my Tesla. I actually forgot my uh, Tesla card and they're really good about that. Something I didn't realize, you could send your key uh, to them via email. So that was really nice and easy. I don't have to give them my mobile phone. Um, so as you know, uh, Rusty's in for today. Um, if you haven't seen it, check out my recent short video uh, where I remove the performance rear spoiler and uh, position this new one that um, I may or may not be fitting, I may or may not be spraying. Who, who knows, we will see. Um, but yeah, check that video out and there's a discount code, 20% off for EV base uh, details in this uh, description of this video. So yeah, I'm just gonna essentially drop the vehicle off. They're gonna be doing a safety check on the vehicle, just a once round. And then we're gonna meet up with Matt. He's gonna hopefully do us a little bit of a tour and take us through what needs sorting on Rusty. Go and have a coffee and then come back. This is Matt's uh, Tesla Model 3 short range um seen it. it's been around for a while actually although it has changed a bit since i last saw it because i think it had uh, a rather aggressive bottom splitter and rear spoiler uh it's got the tivo wheels on very smart and the upgraded forge brakes looking really really good be interested to know uh, what they're like uh hopefully matt can give us an idea of that i'm pretty sure this is an early car and the black has been wrapped I could be wrong though but you can't tell uh, easily although maybe a little bit on the corner there uh, but the wrap of the whole vehicle looks really really good completely debadged and a nice little number plate it's oil over it's just gone out for the road test and so now it's in for the check over so let's see how it goes so we've got Rusty on the ramp and we've got none other than Matt Cleveley himself to take us round Rusty and all its issues. So uh, Matt, take it away. What's, what's, uh, what's Rusty like? Well, for its mileage, actually really, really good. So um, every good. vehicle that comes into Cleveley EV does have a vehicle health check. Yep. With, so we, we, you get a red, amber, green report on the condition of the vehicle with advisories on play or in suspension items, bushes, uh, brakes, tyres, all those kinds of things. Report on tyre tread depths as well. We just go through the vehicle front to back, make sure that it's all good and, um, and most of all safe. Yes. So uh, on Rusty, uh, we'll start at the back because we're Did here. you find much rust? Uh, unsurprisingly, no. Oh. No, no much rust at all. I knew, I knew Ralph was joking. Yeah. So uh, very, very common on the Model 3. The front suspension arm mountain bush up here, so you can see where the see the bush there is climbing out of the metal arm here. Wow, it's really, trying to escape. really common. Yes, yeah. So it's a big Model Three problem. This we're seeing lots and lots of these. So that's very, oh, very I see common. It from here, actually. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So unfortunately. That means a, a replacement arm because it's a bonded bush in the arm. Right. But we have aftermarket versions, uh -huh. so no need to play Tesla. Well, prices. one of the reasons I come to see you guys Absolutely. saves you know saves yeah. me time. And rather than climbing up, but it's, it's it's less less bad, but slightly. Obviously, you can see it's starting to peel out on this side. So this would be just an advisory from us. No need to get them done. Don't have to do them in pairs. No, no, no. Okay. I mean, they're independent, so you could just do one on the other. We're here to work with you, so it's not okay. about taking the money off you. It's about keeping your car safe sure. and reliable. Well, if we get some that... prices, and then I'll, I can make an informed decision. Absolutely. I mean, th that is an MOT failure, and you said your MOT is next month. Yeah. So that's something we should probably no, cover definitely. off. No, so, Yeah, hundred um, percent. As well as common culprit. So um, we would call this a camber arm. Uh, Tesla referred to it as a fore aft arm. Um, and you can see the lift in that ball joint there. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's borderline MOT failure. So, but there is significant lift in that ball joint. Right, okay. It's not horrendously dangerous. Well, you can see the red, red calipers. 
Yes. I, think, I always forget that they're on there, to be honest. Hidden. <laughs> Stealth mode. Behind the, the uh, covers on the wheels. Um, but other than that, <coughs> we've been through, I mean, the rear pads are around about 3 mil. OK. Um, so there's uh, acoustic wear sensors on Tesla pads, which is just a metal shim. Right. You'll hear that screeching, but the pad's still got life. It's still going to break. It's okay. not unsafe. Around 3 mil, rear will wear slower than the fronts. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you may get a few thousand, five thousand, something like that. Out of oh, them. Okay. So whether it's a performance pad upgrade time Ooh. or whether you'd go with uh, originals. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I know, there's something to think about there. Now cool. you're doing a, a few more track type events. Yeah. Um, there is slight play in this side as well. Okay. But, but very slight. You can oh, barely yeah, even pick that up on there. So you can feel it in the bar. Yeah. So that would probably be an MOT advisory. And that right. one would be borderline as to uh, being a failure along with that camber arm at the back. But otherwise, okay. all good. Ah, yeah, so wow. for the mileage, very good. And what about the uh, the squeaky... Uh, the, the every squeaky, time I forget the name of them. Squeaky Model 3. So the, the top suspension wishbone up there, the plastic, you can see. Yeah. So uh, the ball joint that's in here. Yeah. From factory, they have terrible, terrible grease in them. Yep. It's more like prick stick that's melting. So mm. um, what we do, we don't replace if we don't have to. Okay. Um, we've checked them, there's no play in the ball joints. Oh, okay. So what we need to do is pop them out the hub, yep. take the boot off, give it a thorough cleaning out, replace the grease in it, and you'll have no squeaks anymore. So it's just where the, um, the metal ball sits in a nylon cup, yeah. your squeak is, when that moves, you're just getting because it's not yeah. lubricated. No. So we get some better lubrication in there and it'll be good to go. Super. Your silent car will be silent once more. Till til we fit the, you know, the, the exhaust speak on it. <laughs> <laughs> but not, uh, in terms of the report, nothing else popped up other than that then? No, all good. Yeah, winner. Clean okay. bill of health. So, wow. yeah, those couple of items, suspension items and... Yeah, all good. Yeah, very good for its mileage. But Model 3s are, they're brilliant cars. Well, let's, uh, let's work out what the cost is just for fit, uh, replacing the one the front and one rear yeah. and for pair and then I can, uh, yeah, make a decision and we can get it cracking. Absolutely. Super. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Okay, thank you. So, slight complication, and it's always a complication if you're modifying your vehicle. Uh, so take note of this, always had it, is the fact that if you know um, I changed the, um, I upgraded to the Mountain Pass Performance spherical bearings, which are actually, is that thunder? Yeah, absolutely lashed down on in, in a minute. Um, so these mountain pass performance spherical bearings have been upgraded and they're part of the actual arm. And these uh, uh, camber arms, these ball joints, sorry, need to be changed, which is part of the arm. So if I change the arm and get it upgraded, I say upgraded, if I get it replaced, I then lose the mountain pass performance spherical bearings, which I don't want to do because they cost me 300 quid and I want to keep those in there. So um, I've told, Cleveland EV not to do that and I'm going to have to think of another solution. Uh, also money wise try to keep the cost down so I've actually not asked them to um, sort out the squeaky um, front control arms because they haven't got any play in them uh, however I have got a little trick I believe for that so which will stop it squeaking um, but those rear bushes that were coming out of this is always noisy around here another helicopter going over um, so I'm getting the rear bushes replaced because one was coming out and the other one was just about to go, so it's definitely needed. So only a couple of bits done, but it was always really good to get a proper health report done by the professionals, which is essentially Cleveland EV. So they've just finished, they're going to take it for a road test, and then I'm going to be shipping back home. So uh, yeah, hopefully it can be done soon. So don't forget Cleveley EV don't just do servicing of electric vehicles they also do battery swaps there's a load of uh, Nissan Leaf uh, battery swap packs there and they are state of health about 90% plus it's £8,000 for the uh, exchange and they've got a lot of lovely uh, EVs uh, for stock here uh, to sell and right at the top there are all the parts because they're now doing EV parts for replacement and that's 
the parts that are going onto my vehicle. And if you haven't seen Matt talk about that before, go back and watch my Tesla uh, video, which is where we went to Tesla supercharged event. I'll put the link up there somewhere because he goes through all the other things that they do, which also includes the battery health test that they do, which was recently highlighted on Auto Trader YouTube channel with Rory Reid. So check that out. Right, we're sorted. Taking Rusty home. Late for the dog, doggy daycare, so I better be moving. But thanks for watching. See you next time.